Hi friends, welcome back to my channel Technical Talks with Naresh. Today I am going to prepare a video on Oracle Fusion bind parameter with independent and translated independent LOVs. So for that we will see how many types of LOVs are there. So in Oracle EBS R12 we are having one concept that is a value set. So in Fusion that value sets are called as LOV list of values means this value sets is equals to this list of value. So in Oracle EBS we are having six type of an value sets. So that same value sets are replicated in the Oracle Fusion also. So which are that value sets? So these six are that value set. First one is a null. Second is independent. Third is dependent. Fourth is table. Fifth is translated independent. And sixth is translated dependent. Means when we are using the bind parameter in any type of an query that is called as a null value set. So I already had a video on bind parameters in that video i had explained the concept of bind parameter that is nothing but the none value set or we can call it as a none lov then in this video i am going to explain you this independent lov and translated independent lov okay and in further videos i will explain the remaining types so what is independent lov i am going to explain you and how to use it in oracle fusion so for that we have to go to a fusion instance so this is my fusion instance so i have to go to the catalog so i am going to catalog click on navigator then here is in tools then report and analytics when you click on reports and analytics it will redirect you to the page so now click on the browse catalog when you click on browse catalog you will redirect to the catalog page so this is my catalog page so i have to create the data model so i am going to new then here is the option data model so I will write all of the steps in detail. So first we are working with independent and translated independent LOVs. So here steps. First step is create data model. Okay. So data model window is open. So for creating data model click on plus icon. Then after here is an SQL query. Then give the proper name. We will prepare first independent LOV. So I am giving the name independent LOV DM. DM is for data model. Then I am selecting the data source that is Fusion DB. Then here is the query section. So I am having one query with me. That query I am going to paste over here. So same query we had used in our last videos also. So what we are doing over here, we are having two tables, PO header all and PO lines all. We are fetching the one column PO header ID from PO headers table, and we are fetching these number of n columns from PO lines tables. Here we had given the join condition PO headers and PO lines. And this is the condition to fetch the data of the segment one. Segment one containing the PO number. So this is my PO number. So just we have to make this as a bind variable. Instead of this number, I am writing bind of parameter of segment one. Okay. So this is my query. I am copying this query and pasting that query into the data model and clicked on OK. When I click on OK, it will redirect me to the parameter prompts so if i click on this it will generate a parameter for me i click this checkbox and and clicking on ok so when i click on ok this parameter is generated for me for time being leave it as it is and save this data model go to shared go to custom then go to your custom folder and save the data model here also i am giving the name as independent lovdm i am copying the same into the description section I'm clicking on OK. When I clicked on OK, it will save the data model with parameter. So you can see over here it is saved. OK, so now we have to create the list of values. So that is called as a value sets in Oracle R12. So just go to list of value in left panel, which is shown over here and click on the plus icon and it will ask you some details. So first of all, give the name for that list of value. So we are using it for PO number. So I am giving PO underscore number. Then after here are the two types. First is SQL query and second is data field. So now we are using data field. In next video, we will see the SQL query. This section will populate in front of you. Then click on plus. Then here is the option to give the parameter value. PO number. So I am giving the first PO number that is 16235 here and same as a value also. Then I want to add one more. So I will give one more. So here is the 53. If I want to add one more, then I will give one more. So I had added three PO numbers over here. Then click on save. 
after defining this list of value you, you have to set this list of value in the parameter section also so click on the parameter here is the option so give the name to that particular parameter what is this this is the p segment one okay then it is the type integer then give any default value you, which you want to give suppose i am giving 162352 then here if you want to make this parameter as list of value or value set and here is the option menu click on this option menu when you click on this option menu you can see over here it is change here is the type menu previously it was text so i am selecting text again so see type text when i select menu it is type menu okay it is mandatory if you want to make it mandatory you can click it i don't want to make mandatory so i am not clicking and after give the display name what the display name you want to give that is po number then after there is only one list of values so it is automatically selected over here then how many values you want to show over there i want to show only five values if there are number of values in your lov for that purpose this is the count is given or for the table value set there are numbers of values in the lov for that we can use this count okay then after option multiple selection so we don't require multiple selection then can select all so null value pass and refresh other parameter on change so this i will explain later so just save this then go to the data model then now save the sample data to create the report go to data click on view click on save as a sample data now the data template is ready now we have to create the layout and the template so our second step is create the template so here i will write in detail second step is create lov third step is assign the lov to parameter and save data model then fourth step is create template and layout so we are done with this three steps now fourth steps we have to create the template so click on create report when i click on create report it will redirect me to the layout section so i don't want to create the layout by this method so cancel this then here is the data model option upload your data model my data model name is independent lovdm select it click on generate give the proper name i had given independent lov template click on generate when you click on generate it will generate the layout for you so this is your layout now save this layout i am saving this layout at the same location with the name independent lov layout i am copying the same into the description also click on okay and you can see over here it is saved now click on view report when you click on view report it will try to generate the output i had given the mandatory parameter as 16235 so this is the record with the po number 16235 if you click on this drop down you can see these three values so i am selecting the second one that is 162353 so here first check that po header id is 2144 now i am clicking on apply for second po then you can see over here it is changed that is 2145 and i am selecting the third one clicked on apply then you can see that it is 2146 okay so this is the independent lovs so we are done with this independent lovs now do this translated independent lovs so translated independent lov is nothing but the for displaying purpose we are having different value and for fetching from the database we are having the different value means here here what is displayed the po number is displayed 162354 and it is fetching also the po number same po number but for in translated independent it will display something else and it will fetch from background something else so how to do that i will tell you so i am making the changes in the same data model so go to catalog here is my independent lov dm data model so edit this data model so i am in the data model for the translated independent you don't have to make the big change just you have to go to the list of value select this list of value then here is the label and here is the value so label is nothing but for the display purpose suppose i am passing the label po number and then after i am passing the number the same thing i am doing for the other values also and here is i am passing the actual value which will be fetched from the database from backend okay so i am saving the same data model so you can see over here it is saved again go to catalog and now here is my so click on open when you click on open it will open the layout for us 
so you can see that what is the default value that is 16235 we had given the default value so here for display purpose the value is this and for passing into the backend the value is only 16235 for second we can select we can click on apply and we will get the second output okay so this is the independent or translated independent LOEs in Oracle Fusion or we can also call it as a value sets in Oracle R12. In our next video, we will see the next topic that is dependent LOV. If you like this video, don't forget to like, share, subscribe my channel, Technical Talks with Naresh. To get more videos on Oracle SQL PL SQL, Oracle Application OAF and other technologies. Thank you.